Dr. Chamakura Niharika. She is the recipient of Dakshin Bharat Area Merit Certificate and a Monetary Award of Rs. 15,000 for academic excellence.
be Mamani. Vaidya Prana. Vivek Kumar Yadav. Yenahari Sai Harshi. Vartika Singh. Nidhi Singh Roha. She is awarded with GOC Inc's Merit Certificate and Cash Award of Rs. 4,000 for Academic Excellence. Tarvati Bhattu. She is awarded with GOC Inc's Merit Certificate and Cash Award of Rs. 5,000 for Academic Excellence. RJ Shriraja. She is awarded with GOC INC's Merit Certificate and a Cash Award of Rs. 7,000 for Academic Excellence. She is also the recipient of the Avis Award for securing third position in BTS. This award commemorating Shaheed Major Chenuda, Victoria Cross, includes a bronze medal, a Merit Certificate and a Cash Award of Rs. 10,000. She is awarded with GOC Inc's Merit Certificate and a Cash Award of Rs. 6,000 for Academic Excellence. She is also the recipient of the Avis Award for securing second position in BTO. This award commemorating Sahih Khan and Rasan Gulu Gopal, Ashok Chakra, includes a Silver Medal, Merit Certificate and a Cash Award of Rs. 15,000. Ranjima Karunakaran. She is awarded with GOC Inc's Merit Certificate and a Cash Award of Rs. 8,000 for Academic Excellence. She is also the recipient of the Avis Award for securing first position in DDS. This award commemorating Shahid Nayak, Rajinath Singh, Param Veer Chakra, includes a gold medal, a Merit Certificate and a Cash Award of Rs. 20,000. And in yet another feather to her cap, is the General Officer Commanding in Chief, Southern Command, Rolling Trophy for all of our best students in the Academy. And finally, the most awaited award of tonight's function, an award that recognizes the overall exemplary performance of a student right from the initiation to the course of BTS. The most coveted Chief of Army Staff, all-round best student voting trophy for BTS, Anjima Kalnakaran. This also includes a cash award of 25,000. Thank you, Honorable Governor, for distributing the prizes. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to start my convocation address by appreciating all the graduates and the medal winners. Because of your hard work, you are all sitting here. So first of all, my congratulations are not for you, to the parents. Because of the sacrifice, you are all sitting here. And second, my word of gratitude to the teachers. Because I am also a medical graduate and we know not only the teachers, we have learned from the paramedics, staff, nurses and all of them have been our teachers. So, my salute to each and every one because doing our profession, we get our lessons taught from each and every experienced person in the branch of medicine, dental medicine. And above all, because of your hard work, commitment and you have secured good marks, you have also sacrificed all your enjoyments, pleasures to be seated here. 
and today is not the final day today is the beginning of your profession life so how you are going to plan i wanted to attend this program because i have traveled quite a long distance before coming here morning i was in chennai afternoon i was in puducherry and now i am in telangana so i have crossed three states to attend this conversation it's quite a longer distance because i started with the convocation program in a peripheral area of chennai it was a rural college to encourage the rural children i went and attended the program and i traveled to puducherry to attend the literary program and i got the flight and i landed and from the airport directly i came here it was quite a long journey but i didn't think it's a tiresome journey because i want to encourage the students because of their hard work they are getting the degrees and we should not be lazy so that i should go there i should come here and appreciate you so that was my intention so right we all know somebody should motivate us because till now we were free our parents were taking care of us and you know because this is army college you have done so much of sacrifices and because of your sacrifice your family members sacrifice you have got a position and you have got a degree here so it is at the back of each and every one there is a great sacrifice and particularly i felt than attending a convocation of any other college to attend the convocation of the dental college of the army it is my duty to come and attend the program because whatever may be the sacrifices the families of yourself and the army personnel do for our country it is a small contribution from me so that this support is needed for this institution medical doctor i have always felt that we are the people who are going to serve the nation the people and when i was a medical student at the jawar medical college after completing plus 2 a farmer's daughter the beat was not there and the selection process was different and she got selected for mbbs as well as dental surgery she went and asked her father he was a farmer appa to which course shall i join whether mbbs or dentistry he told body is only one but you have 32 teeth so you can join dentistry so i can get more practice so you join dental surgery this is this is true she was telling us so why i am telling because this service is needed and my appeal is as a chancellor and as a doctor and as a social person awareness about dental diseases is less less among the people we have seen eye camps we have seen general checkups patients want to but it will be done but awareness about dental disease is very very less so it is our duty to make the people aware of the dental procedures and now the a branch in medicine which is advancing day to day dentistry dental medicine because it is like a making a relationship first you see the pain then you bridge then you cap if nothing could be done you extract so it is also it, it almost correlates with the human relationship So it should be bridged. Otherwise, it can be capped. Otherwise, it can be removed. So it also teaches a lesson. And children, from the childhood, we have to take care of the teeth. So that message is also now people are not aware of it. So it is our duty because our honourable prime minister always says the prevention because of the people, even the. poorest and of the poor the marginal economically marginalized people also should get the best treatment so i am very happy and i thank our honorable 
Prime Minister because some of the dental procedures are also included in the Ayushman Bhai. The uh, biggest, the largest insurance scheme in the world. First it was not included. Then when the appeal from the dental specialist and some of the hospitals are impaneled and because of that, because the cost as a doctor who had my practice in a peripheral hospital, for want of few hundreds, we have seen the patient losing their life. So the tertiary care, the expert management, when the insurance schemes cover these all these things, so the patients can go for the higher treatments. And now, the advancement in dental, because transplants, the, the, the best transplants, now we are seeing the dental transplants. And what all the thing, before and all, uh, chewing, it was difficult because when tooth is uh, not uh, actually fall away, it is very difficult, but everything, even the whole uh, dentistry can be replaced. And the procedure is so simple and so advanced and so natural. So the beauty is also maintained. So you are also the like cosmetic uh, doctors of the uh, people. So they are all approaching you for cosmetology also, cosmetic purpose also. So you are the most needed people in the society now. So but awareness about the uh, dental procedures, awareness about the dental diseases should be more propagated among the public and more dental camps should be conducted. The eye camps, now they have taken the uh, first step and they are the major camps. Eyes camps, the special, the most uh, conducted camps are eye camps, I have seen. So you have to take forward the, forward the dental camps. And after the COVID, now we should be very careful about our treatment, about our approach, and I'm really very happy that when I went the, your uh, uh, academician, introduce yourself and the academic record of your college was presented. I was so much astonished. So your children have done so well. So each and every one who are here, big medal, medals you have got, and cups you have got. So for that, I wholeheartedly congratulate you all because it is not an easy job. It is very difficult to be a medical student. And it is very difficult to be a doctor also. Doctor means they think, oh, they don't see our sacrifices. They don't see that we have learned so much. They see only, they are say, doctors are very rich people. Why I am telling that my husband is a nephrologist and I was a medical student at the time. I got married and I was doing my first year. My husband was a, a doing his second year of the DM nephrology. Even though we both from the same college, only arranged in marriage, I can say that. <laughs> and and uh, we got, first he got his posting at Tanjavur and we went to Tanjavur in a, in a, a peripheral medical college. One green boy, a vendor used to come, vegetable vendor. Opposite the house, he will tell, one kilo brinjal, 20 rupees. Then when he comes to my house, he will tell, one kilo brinjal, 25 rupees. Then I told, I heard you selling the brinjal, 20 rupees. No, no both are doctors, no. You can give. What is the problem with you? So usually the outlook of doctors is that. They are not, uh, they look as professionals. They are people who, they are earning. So only that, that fellow was telling me. Why you are telling like that? No, no, this is my next house is dental person and I went to your uh, dental clinic one day. Uh, there was a, the doctor was seeing a patient and the patient was shouting the shrill noise. I was asking what is happening inside. Then he was he's extracting the teeth, he was telling. Tooth, he was telling. Then I asked, then again the shout, the shrill was more. Then I asked the next person, already he has extracted the teeth. Why the shrill sound is much more? So now he's extracting the fleece. So that is the problem. So uh, the, the, the vision of the people uh, about the doctors are different because I have experience. My husband used to tell me. Nowadays the practice is also very difficult. Before and all, if the patient comes, 
If you tell what oh, this kid is, it's some problem. So that is scary, something. You have you need bridge or you need cap. Patient will be very patiently hearing and accepting our advice. But nowadays they say, no, no, Google says like this. So my husband used to tell, before and all we used to compete with our poor doctors, now we have to compete with Google because we have to learn more what Google is saying. So now patients are half learned. They come with uh, half knowledge and whatever we say, they say no, no, Google is saying. So these are the challenges we are facing in the medical uh, practice. It's not, nowadays it has become very difficult but at the same time the people need our help and we have to, as medical doctors, we have to, not only after getting the degree, we should not sit idly. Every day we have to learn. That is the best doctor thing. Every day, even now, I have left practice, but I know, I know what are the recent advances in fetal therapy because I was a fetal therapist. I was a gynecologist and then I went for fetal therapy. So even now, I know what are the advancements, but even though I am not actively practicing, why I am telling? You have to improve yourself every day because challenging field. You have to compete with each and every one. So you have to be expertise in all the procedures. Because nowadays, as I said, than any other specialty, the dental medicine is innovations and improvements and inventions of each and every day. It's advancing. So I really congratulate you. Be an exemplary person in your practice. Be committed and apart from that, don't sacrifice your happiness for anything. You are, people, you are the people who make others smile and you have to be smiling. So you can read, you can go for higher education and you can take special exams but don't compromise your happiness for anything. Be happy, be smiling, make others smile, you also smile as dental experts. Thank you so much. And to teach them this art. And teach them this art. If they shall wish to learn it. If they shall wish to learn it. Without fee or contract. Without fee or contract. Lectures. Lectures. And every other mode of instruction. And every other mode of instruction. I will impart the knowledge of the art. I will impart the knowledge of the art. To my own sons. To my own sons. And those of my teachers. And those of my teachers. And to students bound by this contract. And to students bound by this contract. And having sworn this oath. And to the law of medicine, the law of medicine but, to no others. but to no others. I will use those dietary regimens which, which will benefit my patients according to my greatest ability and judgment. I will drug to anyone if I am asked. Nor will I advise such a plan. And similarly, and similarly I will not give a woman a personality to cause an abortion. Impurity and according to divine law, will I carry out my life and my art. I will not use the knife, even upon those suffering from stones, but I will leave this to those who are trained in this craft. Into whatever homes I go, I will enter them for the benefit of the sick, the of the sick. Avoiding, any avoiding any voluntary act of impropriety or corruption, including the selection of women or men, the of women or men. whether they are free men or slaves. Whatever I see or hear in the lives of my patients, whether in connection with my professional practice or not, which ought not to be spoken of outside, I will keep secret, as considering all such things to be private. So long as I maintain this oath faithfully and without corruption, may it be granted to me to partake of life fully and the practice of my art. Gaining the respect of all men for all time. However, should I transgress this oath, 
congratulations doctors I, on behalf of Chairman, Major General Rakesh Manosha, Sena Medal Vishesh Sirava Medal, General Officer Commanding Telangana and Nanda Saberia, Principal Dr. Subramanian Sharma, and the entire team of ACTS. Thank you, Madam, for making time from your extremely busy schedule and coming here today. Madam, your academic background and your administrative career are very inspiring to follow. Today we got to hear you and witness your dedication to your commitment. Not only that, the wonderful oration that you gave, keeping everybody engaged and light, was very inspiring and encouraging, not only for the students, but all of us. Thank you so much, ma'am. Dr. Sandhya, Registrar of Kaloji Narayan Rao University of Health Sciences, thank you for gracing the event. The Commissionerate of Police, thank you for guiding us and keeping us. Thank you for your supporting attitude. Members of the press and media, thank you all for your encouragement and support. The commandants of, and officers of AOC Center and EME Center, we are truly appreciative of your generosity towards making this event a grand success. An event of this magnitude requires a lot of assistance from a lot of people and all the students. Well done and thank you for the unstinting, selfless contribution to the beauty of this event. And last but not the least, our dear guests, my dear graduates and all of you parents of the passing out students, congratulations and thank you for joining us here today. Your joy and efforts encourage us to keep striving for good work throughout the year and bring us together at events like this. Thank you all. Jai Hind. Thank you very much, madam.